So welcome to the uh, Pierce Blue Floor. My name is Dan Udemy, the captain at the Chestnut Ridge Volunteer Fire Company, located in Baltimore, Maryland. As you can see by our patch in the front of our fire engine here, we're taking delivery of our brand new Velocity Pumper, specifically uh, built to serve our community, which is uh, rather diverse, made up of doctors and lawyers, farmers, etc. Uh, we serve about 3,500 homes and 25 square miles from our station and uh, we are known as the water carriers. So as you can see, our tanker was built specifically to carry water. We carry 3,000 gallons of water, which is a 500 gallon increase from what we had previously. The truck is built so that we can operate the tanks, which are located, the dumps I mean, which are located on the left and right and rear of the truck, right from the cab. So we have switches where we can open up the valves and then dump them. And the key is to get water off as quickly as possible so we can go and get more. The crew wanted a large cab so that they can get dressed while we're, uh, while we're in the back, going down the road for a call, so obviously we wanted this to be as spacious as possible. The extended cab serves that purpose. We can carry all of our air packs and we have plenty of storage for supplies, parts and pieces. So pretty well equipped and well outfitted to carry everything. One of the biggest problems is the gear for the driver, so we have a compartment specifically allocated so our driver can put his or her gear inside of there and uh, not take up valuable space in real estate. Three attack lines, two inch and three quarter, 200 foot long lines, and then we'll also have a two inch line for quick attack as well as a dead load on the back that we'll get to. 1,750 gallon per minute pump, no foam. We do carry foam separately and a foam ejector is needed. This compartment is allocated for all of our hose tools and appliances. So uh, we'll have all of our fittings and everything mounted inside. We put a refrigerator in. Sometimes it takes a while to get the rehab units there. Again, more storage. Some of it I can't reach. I'll just open these up as we go. We also utilize as much space as possible by creating bottle storage where the fuel is and bottle storage where the def tank is located. Back here, another large compartment, which is going to be where all of our main hand tools are carried. So they'll be mounted and strategically placed, as well as fans and other various equipment. In the back of the truck, another dump. So again, we want to get the water off as quickly as possible. We can take water in, get water out. And as you can see by its size, it's certainly carrying a lot of water. Integrated step with traffic director, so if we're operating on the highways, we can uh, make sure people see us, as well as a backup camera so we can see where we're going. Our ladders are carried up in the middle, uh, a little bit lower than they used to be on our old tanker, and uh, obviously all the hose and ladders and pipe poles will be up top. Work our way around here. We carry a 3,500 gallon folded tank, which will be housed in here. It works off an actuator that allows us to lower it and take it off and deploy it very quickly and uh, we can dump the water in there and send the fire engine to get more. This compartment will be allocated for also for fans and we have it pre-wired for additional uh, devices that will go in there. These two little compartments are for probationary members and we fit them in there so they have a place to hang out because uh, we're not sure that we have room for anything else in there. And up here we'll keep all of our EMS supplies. We have one compartment allocated on each engine for emergency medical services, so all of our medical supplies will be in here. Pre-connected cord reel is 250 feet, so we can take it into a house or into a building and be able to deploy our own power, especially when the power's been turned off or secured. Other side of the pump, troughs for some lines. And then again, you've already seen the cab. Very spacious and set up for uh, tools, equipment, supplies. And finally, the most important seat, which is where I sit, uh, here in the front, it's set up so we can also uh, control most of the command center buttons, switches, operations right here. Uh, we also have electronic siren as well as a federal Q siren, and we can access our Firecom headsets and fire department radio. So on behalf of the Chestnut Ridge Volunteer Fire Company, thank you for watching today. We'll see you out there.